from the amazing what what campground is this called? Like what is this? The name in green. So Missile? Oh, oh camping S at San. Uh, I don't know how to yep. pronounce that. The giant campers uh, meet up that I'm here up in uh, north of Quebec City. I'm here with Jacques, who's uh, suffering from the effects of his tequila partying last night. Anyway, I'm um, just getting a little bit of uh, editing done. Um, these episodes are all going to be pretty late, uh, and I'm sorry about that, but the reason is I still have a lot of wedding photos to edit. I'm like, uh, I got 10,000 photos to dig through right now, so once I get all those done, and it should be in the next you know, few days, then I'm going to start editing these episodes, and I'm, I'm going to try and post daily for a little while. So the episode should be about a week behind, but they'll be daily. So I'm going to try doing that for as long as I can manage. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think in, in the comment section. We'll uh, piece it together. But today I've got a lot of, as you can see behind me, I've got a lot of vans to check out. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and introduce you to some of the people here. I have to change the angle of my hammock now. So I'm going to move it over to another spot. Because uh, the trees are too close together, so the angle of the hammock was totally off. And I wasn't able to like lie straight on it. And then the sleeping bag and the hammock are both like this very slippery material. So they slide on each other. And uh, yeah, I almost fell out of the hammock in the middle of the night. So I'm definitely going to pick a better spot. Lesson learned on that. And I might go get myself like an underlayer or like an um, inflatable kind of something or other. I'll go check that out tomorrow. But for today, I'm just going to set up somewhere else. This thing is epic. <laughs> so you bought this one converted? As... Yeah, they were they were RVs actually. They were not conversion. Wonder Lodge were made by Bluebirds, but they were their RVs. So they they were made like that. And what year is it? Eighty four. Oh okay. Yeah. And you fit and you fit your whole family in here. How yeah. Many kids? Yeah, yeah, we do. Tree girls. Tree girls. Yeah. yeah, they sleep there. So one of the beds is a jackknife sofa, so it opens. And we put them back up during the day for more living space. And we have a bedroom, we have a nice mattress. Bedroom in the back, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty roomy and it's all, like, it's all solid wood. You know, these old things were really made solid. So since we do a lot of driving and yeah. Yukon and Alaska, the roads are not always nice. So we need something that will not get... It's not like the, the new RVs are kind of no, exactly, flimsy. They're exactly. like foam and... Real, noble materials and you know it's a tank it's really thick you know you yeah. see the, the door it's like you know, it's all metal and these are all like airplane yeah yeah that totally was the thing and it was i think they thought it was really cool in 84 to have lots of you know gadget that look like an airplane console and all the wow. all the stuff that reminds people oh wow people espresso are really serious about our coffee latte whatever you need you know, I just went and got my coffee that's ground. That's glamping. Oh yeah? yeah. Oh. I ran. I ran all the way down to the grocery store Are to get a ground. Are you serious? Well, we have to make your coffee. Do uh, you want well, one now or tomorrow morning? I could go for one now. Yeah. Though. Cool. What do you like? Latte. Black. It's just an espresso. Would be espresso, lovely. like no milk. That's yeah. what you like. I love that. Yeah. So black. Years. So. <laughs> You've been living in this van for two and a half years. Yeah. Well, bus, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and we pulled a Westie, right? You know that. You guys, oh, you pulled we a We pulled a synchro there, yeah. So that's a, that's our chalet, that's our cottage. That we're no way. So yeah, so it's pretty cool. So we can go on, you know, off-road trips, weekend yeah. trips with the trailheads that are not accessible with this big thing. We put the bikes and the climbing gear in there, and we can reach these places. And you do a lot of climbing then Yeah, we well? do lots of climbing, lots of mountain biking. Okay. That's mostly what we do, multi-day hikes. But yeah, so that's super important, because if you have only this big thing, you can't go buy bread or even reach most trailheads if you want to yeah. do a shuttle for mountain biking or yeah. rock climbing sites. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's a whole a, other world, man. Yeah, that's so it's cool. a pretty cool life. It's yeah. good. Jeez. Yeah, no, it's I good. need to step up. I need to get into climbing, I think. Yeah, oh, climbing is awesome. So I met uh, this fan dweller, Sophie, last night. Oh. <laughs> I'm the only anglophone, so now I just started speaking English. Everyone's watching me. <laughs> I'm the only Anglophone here, which has been fun. I'm learning how to uh, communicate better in French, but uh, <laughs> I met Sophie yesterday, and uh, like I think it, you hear about a lot of van dwellers doing, making jewelry or doing this. I've never actually met one who does it, so I'm very excited to see uh, the process of seeing all of her work. It's really quite something. You say it's say tous les choses recyclées. 
Bon, le pneu, la première Oh wow, that's rubber. Yep. Oh wow, okay, cool. <laughs> that's crazy. You didn't realize. <laughs> that's crazy. There's more. Jeez. Let's start out with Jerry's camper van here. Now the story behind this is interesting, right? You had this van, this year of van, back when it was new in the 80s. Yes. And this is the first van you drove. Well, it's the uh, first car I ever drove. I learned to drive on the uh, on that Chevy van. Wow. 1980. And then it's also, uh, you know, for the more illicit, it's the first uh, van you ever had a, a lady in. That is you correct. Know? Uh, <laughs> drive in. <laughs> At the driving, that's nice. <laughs> so here we go. A little bit of nostalgia for him. Yep. These swivel seats are where it's at. Man, I need one of these in my van so bad. Yeah, we have to redo those. When we bought the, uh, the van, the, um, the roof uh, ventilator was broken and every time it rained it turned into a shower. Oh, uh, so, so everything had rotted out. Everything had rotted out, so we just pulled out everything and rebuilt from scratch. Okay. So the bed is like, it's a permanent bed, it's always a bed. Okay. Uh, I rebuilt those out of pine because originally they were MDF, they were very heavy. Yeah. And so, and I, I, I added space as well, like three inches this way, one inch that way, and one inch makes a difference. So now we have better storage. And also it's a lot lighter being pine. Yeah. So, and believe it or not, carpentry is my kryptonite. I hate it. But you managed. But I managed to pull it off, yeah. So uh -huh. all we need to do now is uh, varnish everything and do the, the finishing work. And they're yeah. all modular, so they can be pulled out of the truck, oh, fixed okay. and put back in, no problem. Nice. Uh, we got, of course, our big screen TV right over here. Oh, wow, yeah, that is a big one. Uh, yeah, well, for the space we got, yeah, this it's is like huge. giant screen. For vans, that's huge. Yeah, yeah, we got a DVD player. And it runs 12 volt, or does that run on the inverter? It runs on the inverter. Oh, okay. I also have an HD antenna. Uh, underneath, we have the inverter and battery and charger. Mm -hmm. With a relay what, switch. What kind of battery bank are you running here? I'm running a bulldozer battery, which is, I don't know exactly the power, it's huge. It's a ton. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. wild. But it's a starter battery, it's not a deep cycle battery. Oh, okay. So it doesn't keep that charge too long. Hmm. So that's going to be changed for a deep cycle. Yeah. Because we're going for uh, 300 watts of solar panel on the roof later on next year. Um, and, and then, of course, you got storage underneath. Uh, Toolboxes over there, and that's going to change as well. Uh, here we've condemned a part of the entrance because we don't really need it, and we made this is your closet, closet. and our food pantry, oh. which we set up with the lights from Dollarama and a dollar fifty switch, three bucks for the entire setup. You open the door, boom, automatically. Uh, the lights in there make a huge difference. I put them in mine; it was oh, the same yeah. thing. I just like this so necessary. Exactly. So the rest is going to be done as well the yeah. same way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here we have, of course, our. Uh, a water setup. Now, what's your water tank? Is it a portable tank or is it bolted in? What is it? It is right over here. Oh, above. It's above, so it uses gravity. Which oh. Is free. And I have a connection outside. Oh, okay, I like that. It's nice. Which you fill up with water pressure. Okay. And of course, you need a helper to give you, to let you know when it's full, so it doesn't, you know, shoot out. Yeah. Okay. It works for gravity, so power, no power. You always have water. Oh, that is nice. No. Yeah. That's your cable to turn on the inverter. There you go. That's it's hilarious. Because <laughs> <laughs> before I had to open the bed, go underneath, find a switch, and, and my wife couldn't do it, so I had to every single time. So now I put this in, she's happy. All that you need, I needed was like a, a door swivel. Yeah. And that's it with a bolt on it, so it goes right on the uh, on the switch. That's hilarious. And that's it. That's my ice box, which I made myself. Oh, whoa. Yeah, so it's a styrofoam plus reflectix. Yeah, what do you, and is ice, there just ice? In ice? The bucket. Yeah, that's it. It lasts about, like a, right now, it'll be good for two days, but in a hot summer day, day and a half. So oh, we're looking into okay. putting a fridge in there because we're yeah. going to you know, be using the van. Uh, I was about to say, I've time. never seen that before, and I guess that's probably why I haven't seen it before. Yeah. As, as good as your design is, it looks really solid. It, it probably still doesn't do the trick. It still, yeah, it still sucks. This is our toilet and storage oh. for our... So it's like yeah, a bucket. Oh, bucket loo, okay. And we use uh, cat litter. Yeah. So it's it just, you know, takes care of the smell. Really isn't that different from most RVs. Most RVs just move. It's all about just controlling the smell. And There you go. And here, well, this is our uh, utensils. This here we have uh, our, uh, our plates and everything else. The ever-present yeah, paper course. wrap everyone's so, got, yeah. Which is used all over the truck, even underneath the hood. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> And uh, that's it. We still got some small modifications to do. 
But you're talking about moving into this thing more full time soon. Yes. So right now this is like a weekend vehicle or a summer vehicle. When we bought it originally it was more for an adventure vehicle. Yeah. Uh, to go on weekends and stuff like that for vacation. Yeah. But then when we made the decision to uh, to move in full time uh, as I can retire like in uh, three, three and a half years. Yeah. Uh, then it was time to look at, okay, can we actually live in this thing full time? Yeah. And make the changes accordingly. So when you, anything we commit to the truck, has to be for something that's going to be long term. Yeah. So, you know, we're not going to buy a do that. It's going to break in two days or something. That, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's cute. No, no, no. You're, you're in for the long run on this one. That's yeah. right. So that's why we we plan what we're doing for the long run. And everything we put in is permanent. And it has to survive usage. I mean, something stupid like looking for your medicine in the morning. And I, no, not this one. No, not this one. It becomes... And irritant every single day. Yeah. So you know, color code the damn bottles, and so you know. There you that's go. One, that's right. one. Perfect. Boom. Simple. You know. Uh, stuff. The switch for the inverter. Could I live with that for a year? No, I go nuts. So you have to fix that. Little details that in a house you don't really care for it. In a van, it's all in about that. Such a small space. Yeah, you need it. You know. Definitely, one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, I mean, the garbage can. I mean. You know, that's Having it close to the door is so nice. Before we had a, a garbage can, it was just lying around, and of course it would tip over, empty it out. Oh, where is it? And yeah. Now it's bolted to the wall. It's not going anywhere. We know where it is. Accessible inside or out. Perfect. Perfect. It's, it's not beautiful design-wise, but you know it's practical. So that's it. And uh, yeah, Nepal. Apart from that, the vehicle itself is uh, 1980. It's uh, V8 354 barrel. No computers whatsoever. It's all mechanical. It runs a carburetor. Mm -hmm. What kind of mileage you get on it? Uh, what I've calculated is I, I calculate by hour. Okay. Every hour of running it, either highway or city, cost me twenty bucks. Okay. So that's that's the way I figure it out. But it's about yeah. uh, if it's if it gets seventeen miles per gallon, sixteen, fifteen, depending on the weather, depending on yeah. the wet, the, the wind. You're looking at like nineteen. 19 liters or 20 liters per 20 hundred kilometers. Per hundred, just about, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fun here checking out all the vans, but uh, I'm gonna do a little, uh, little riding today. Even with all the kilometers I'm putting on, I still kind of crave to get out on the bike, especially today because I don't have my backpack on there. I'm leaving it here at the campsite, so I get to just. Off we go.